Hey everyone, it's Jen here with Sensible Wellness and Yoga. And today I just wanted to go over a 10 minute, really easy neck strengthening routine. I think for a lot of us, we can't really negotiate not doing some form of strengthening routine for our postural muscles because of just how much technology we have in today's world. Now, we don't really think much of strengthening the neck. I think there's definitely awareness for people to strengthen throughout the shoulders, but a lot of times as you strengthen the shoulders, if you don't get some of these post little postural muscles strong, you can still have a lot of that jarring forward head posture, even as you're doing strengthening exercises for your shoulders. So we're gonna go through that. You don't need any equipment for this, just your hands. And if anything doesn't feel good, obviously listen to your body. Now the first and easiest one is going to be a chin tuck. So take three fingers. I like to put my thumb and my middle finger against my collarbone and then bring that other finger up to my chin. Now, if it doesn't quite line up like that, that is okay. You don't have to use this. It's just a method to know you're doing it a little bit um, more correctly <laughs> um, and to keep better form. Now, if you have trouble sitting unsupported, you can do these against a chair. You can tuck something underneath your hips just to help because you definitely wanna be as aligned through your spine as you can. Now with the um, finger here, we're just gonna pull our head back into creating a little bit of a double chin and then relaxing the chin back to the finger. Now we're gonna do that 10 times, pulling back, Pulling back, couple second hold, and relax. Pulling back, and relax. Pulling back, and relax. Pulling back, relax. Pulling back, and relax. Three more, pulling back. Relax, pulling back, relax, last one, pulling back, and relax. Now those chin tucks have so much benefit to it because we're always jarring forward. We put a lot of stress on our necks and just that little bit of ability to retract retract back helps to align our neck a lot better and that can overall help with how much stress we're putting on the disc in our neck. The next one is known as isometric. So I love to do these actually in front of a mirror because it's incredibly easy to cheat on these. So we really wanna think of finding that center, that midline point. We're gonna start, we can put our left hand to our left shoulder, I will mirror you. And what you're gonna do is keeping that body in alignment, you're just gonna bring your hand up to meet your head and then you're gonna think of pressing your head into your hand, like your hand is just a wall. Now what can happen is you can start to kind of tip to the side or do it a little crooked. That's where the mirror I think can be a little bit helpful. So we're gonna press and just do a couple second holds and then relax. And you get to determine how much you press, which is nice because you get to create your own resistance here. Pushing again, we'll count this as one. And relax, two, and relax, three, relax, four, relax, five, relax, six, relax, seven, relax, eight, relax, nine, relax, and 10. All right, let's go do the other side. Bringing that right hand up, finding that center first and making sure your hand just becomes a wall and your head's gonna press against it. Pressing and relax. Press, we'll count this as one. And relax, two, Relax, three, relax, four, relax, five, 
relax, six, relax, seven, relax, eight, relax, nine, relax, and 10, and relax. All right, for the way back now, I like to use both of my hands. I think that helps me stay in a little bit better alignment, but you can always try just one. So I have my fingers interlaced, just resting behind my head. And you really wanna make sure you don't lift your ribs too much. So maybe a little tightening of your belly muscles. Then you're just gonna press your head back into your hands and relax. And sometimes this can turn into a little bit of a lift. It's kind of going straight back. So not too far off from that chin tuck. Let's count this as one, hold it and relax. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're gonna do towards the front now. You can pick one hand. I'm gonna pick actually my front, um, my front arm. I'm actually gonna just pick my left hand here. And yeah, this is where a mirror can once again be helpful because we don't wanna be pressing and be pulling forward. So draw your head back a little bit, and then it's just a gentle press forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, from here, we're just gonna do a couple more for this upper neck and shoulders. So I like to put my hands on my ribs here just to watch it because it's so easy to lift up through your ribs. When you do shoulder blade squeezes, that's where we're going. And really we want to be able to do it with our shoulders actually doing the work versus like our whole chest popping up because we have uh, muscles that run in between the shoulder blades that when they are stronger, it helps to naturally open the chest, open the shoulders. So we have less pressure going here, less jarring forward, less pressure through our neck. So hands to the ribs if you wanna play with that option looking up with the head and then just gently squeezing the shoulder blades together and then relax. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, we got one last one. I want you to have your palms up and your elbows by your ribs. Now you wanna kind of line the head up. You can tell like I shift a little bit this way. I got a little bit of scoliosis, so I always have to pay attention to that. With the palms up, we're just gonna take the arms out to the side, like we're opening up and then bringing them back in together. Now, once again, this, if you have too much rounded shoulder, you're gonna feel pressure in the front of your shoulders really quick. So you wanna make sure you're pulling those shoulders back, but also still anchoring the ribs slightly. So when we open, we should feel it more towards the back of our shoulders. All right, let's start. We're gonna go one and together, two, together, three, and together, four, together, five, together, six, 
together, seven, together, eight, together, nine, together, and 10. Okay, shake it out a little bit. Now, if you want to run through this video one more time, I think two sets of 10 is always nice for these. If you don't really feel like you have time to run through it again, it's okay. I just think I would do this video multiple times throughout the week. It's really important to, to have postural strengthening as a part of your habit and daily routine. And if you do this a couple months, the difference you can feel in your neck, it's little, but it goes a really long way. Thank you for being here and joining me for another little body movement practice. I will see you next time.